If you've ever wondered what it's like to do experiments under the conditions of the Mars surface, well, there's a laboratory here at the Open University that's available as part of Europlanet, where you can undertake your experiments under the conditions on the surface of Mars. Now, I'm going to go and see Manish Patel and find out how it works. Hello, Manish. Hi, Diego. Pleased to meet you. So this is the Mars facility, is it? Yes, so uh, welcome to the Mars, the OU Mars simulation facility. Wow, I mean, it looks, this looks like something out of a thousand leagues under the sea. Is, is this whole <laughs> chamber the, the facility? It is indeed. So uh, this is the facility in which we can recreate the environment that we, find, that we find on Mars. So the pressure, temperature and illumination conditions that we have. Actually, it's a very good point because this is actually a, press, a deep sea pressure vessel that we are oh, using. Oh, so it is very close to it. It <laughs> is, it is. We are using it in, in oh, reverse, wow. if you like. So we're using it as a, as a vacuum chamber. Mm. We can also do other things with so talk me through what temperatures and pressures do we need to achieve in this cylinder to reproduce Mars? So Mars is quite a hostile environment from what, to what we know. Uh, so it's a, it's a low pressure environment. So we have six, around six millibar of pressure compared to the thousand millibars that we experience on Earth. So a very right. low pressure environment. And it also has low temperature. Uh, the temperature on Mars can reach you know, down to minus 100 degrees C in some places. Mm. So you have a combination of low temperature and low pressure, which creates this quite mm. hostile environment. So there's, basically, there's no, there's no natural area on Earth that can re recreate these, these extremes? No, there's a lot of field analog sites. Um, right. They have dry conditions, some are cold conditions like Antarctica, but none of them can do the low pressure that we also get. Um, mm. Uh, on Mars, so this is really a, to do the full spectrum of complete um, environmental uh, reproduction, if you like, you have to go into a lab and you have to do it in this kind of vessel. And the other, I mean, when I was thinking about, about this, I was quite excited to come and see something about Mars, recreating Mars atmosphere. I was expecting something really quite small because you're having to create quite, quite different temperatures and pressures. Yes. But this looks really quite large. Yes, traditionally, uh, Mars chambers are generally kind of, you, know, you can put them on a desktop mm. kind of thing. Um, this is a very unique facility in that you can, it's very large, so you can fit large pieces of uh, equipment inside and perform large scale experiments that you normally can't under, under typical Mars chamber conditions. And you mentioned as well the illumination, that I guess the lighting on, on Mars, how, how is that controlled with this particular piece of so kit? So we can put a, a UV, you can put a solar spectrum lamp on the top. Right. Uh, there's two ways we can do it. If you just want the, the same level of visible light, you can put a series of lights, halogens, LEDs on top to recreate that solar spectrum. If you want the full uh, simulation of the intense UV and the bright solar light as well, you can put a, a solar simulator on top, which is a lamp that couples onto top and, and then it gives you the full spectrum of harmful uh, 